What is good, Jits? <clears throat> Another trade recap going down. Um, this one is different than yesterday's. I lost two trades today. Um, but still up on the week. Green on the week because we use risk management um, yesterday and today. So that being said, we'll actually start off on the S&P, go over the first trade that we took on here. Um, so we'll go over daily bias. Um, so yeah, on the daily, we were, we're bullish, right? On the four hour, however, I was, even though we were bullish, I was feeling bearish due to the fact that we swept out these highs and then on the hourly we broke structure to the downside made this big fair value gap within here and this is essentially what i was kind of trying to take my shorts off of at the very beginning okay today we had very bearish news which was also a part of the bias for today um and also the fact that we had filled the complete Pretty much completely filled this uh, daily for value gap. Okay, so going into today, daily was bullish. Um, four hour, we had swept this liquidity and then broke structure to the downside on the hourly. So yes, technically the four hour is bullish, but the hourly was bearish. And then on the 15 minute, we were bearish. Okay, once we take this off. All right, we can see that pre-market we had a big dump due to this bearish news. Okay, pretty much making for value gaps all through here. Okay, this was the first trade that I took. Um, it was on the S&P. We saw price come up here, sweep out these five minute highs. Okay, and then from there, it was really chop central. We got a couple breaks of structure to the downside, but no fair value gaps were formed. Until we broke structure right here and then formed this little fair value gap. If I move this over, we can see it better right here. All I waited for was price to come up here, hit the 50% mark, okay? And then it gave us reaction with, boom. This down candle, I put my stops above here. Targets were the draws on liquidity on the four hour down here or the hourly as well. Hourly, boom, 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 boom. Obviously price went up, stopped us out pretty much immediately. Okay, and then from there, we'll, we'll still talk about the S&P real quick. From there, I was like, okay, well, we could potentially be targeting this hourly fair value gap. We could be targeting these highs or these highs. We sweep out these highs and these highs and wick both of them. Um, and I was kind of looking for potential reversal off of that. Because again, I was still overall bearish. We see that happen. I wasn't really looking for much of a re-entry on the S&P because we didn't get one. We got breaks of structure, but no fair value gap short entries. However, on NASDAQ, we did, and on NASDAQ, it was similar. We swept out these high time frame lows, these draws on liquidity. Okay, and very similarly, the four hour, or the daily was, uh, was bullish, the four hour was bullish as well, but I was going off of the fact that, right, we had had this massive bearish news we broke structure to the downside, um, and we had filled this fair value gap completely, you know, looking for a bit of a relief after that gets filled. Okay, we see that happen. We see that top thing get hit. We see a break of structure on the one minute. Okay, from there, I was kind of looking for fair value gaps. Nothing, 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 nothing. Boom, something right here. We see it get filled, and then we see boom, big ass, Dick candle the downside. That is what I entered off of. Stops were just right above these highs right here. And then very similarly, boom, price just wanted to rip today. Am I upset about losing today? No, I would never be upset about a loss. Would I have changed anything that I did differently? Um, potentially, right? I probably would have said like, um, yeah, you know, the daily time frame moves bullish and I shouldn't have used speculation. Um, you know, like wanting price to break structure to the downside because on the daily We were bullish the four hour we were bullish same thing with the S&P four hour We were bullish daily. We were bullish. So I shouldn't have been using like speculation 
um, to be looking for shorts. Like, oh yeah, I think it's going to break four hour structure, right? Um, that's the, that's the one thing that I would do differently. And because of that, I, I had the short bias and if I had done it differently, I probably would have had long bias because the four hour and the daily were, um, were bullish and we filled in like to this hourly order block right here. Um, and then on the 15, we could see break of structure, the upside, whatever. And on NASDAQ, we obviously came down into these draws of liquidity. We see break of structure, fair value gap entry right within here. Okay, so that's um, that was the trade recap for today. Um, again, do this is something that like I know I haven't even I haven't made my little TikTok trade recap, and I'm going to, and I'm still going to stand on my fucking business. You know why? Because these are the trades that I'm willing to fucking lose. And when I came onto social media. I was literally the first person to go on to fucking TikTok or YouTube, specifically, specifically YouTube, and talk openly about losses in trading. No one did that shit before me. Swear no one did that shit. People always would say, yeah, losses are part of the game, but no one would actually do a trade recap on their loss. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I remember when I was learning, nobody did that. <clears throat> And now I come on to TikTok, YouTube, start doing that. And I see other people popping up and start doing that. It's good. It's healthy for the space. It's really good for the space. You know what isn't healthy for the space? When someone comes on here, admits to a loss, talks about the money that they lost, talks about what they could be doing better. And somebody comes on and tries to like correct them, tries to tell them exactly. Oh no, let me teach you. No, I don't fuck it. I don't need you to teach me, bitch. I don't need you to teach me anything. Look at me, bro. I'm cooling. I'm Jay chilling. I do not need your education because I, I, did, I did my time in this market. I'm, I know how to take a loss. I know how to learn from my loss. And that's what I'm demonstrating by making these videos, sitting my ass down and talking over a loss and talking over what I could have done better, this and that. Don't try and teach me how to trade. I learned how to trade by myself. I don't want to learn from you. You know, um, and that's not even YouTube jits. It's mainly just TikTok people or comments, you know, um, like that's another thing. Like I talked about this yesterday, like why, you know, like if you're in the comment section saying you should have done this, why were you watching my trade recap in the first place? You know, maybe you were trying to learn something. I don't watch any other traders unless it's for like entertainment shit. You know, fucking Raul gets a new car. Sure, I'll fucking check out the spec, you know? But once he goes into the trade recap of like, oh yeah, this trade bought me this car, I click off of it. No disrespect to Raul, he's my boy. But I'm not watching him explain how he trades because he trades the way that he trades and I trade the way that I trade. I don't got to learn from nobody else. I know what I'm doing, you know? So when I see like comments and TikTok and YouTube saying, you should have done this. I made a million. I'm like instantly invalidates you to me. I'm like, okay, this makes a lot of sense. You're not profitable and you're trying to learn from me. And then because I come on here, talk about my loss, talk about how I learn from it, talk about how I'm getting better every single day. And you're trying to teach me in the comments, but hold on, you came on to this to learn? Something's not adding up. You know, but anyways, that wraps, dude, fat ass bug bite. Um, but anyways, that wraps up trade recap for today. Um, shit talk. Uh, obviously the shit was, uh, still fucking recorded and traded live on the discord. The shit talk, um, discord sale is still live. If you guys want to tap in, watch me trade live. Um, every day link is in the description um just says live discord trading whatever um links in the description tap in with that um and you know if you guys join i'll see you guys in there if not i'll see you guys later today i have another youtube video coming out or the youtube video was actually just posted um so 
you might have already seen the other YouTube video before watching this. It just got posted two minutes ago, at least in my time. So whenever you guys see this, much love. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys for learning, trading, and you know, getting 1% better every day with me, okay? There's always things to improve on, especially in the markets, all right? Um, but it gets to a point where you don't gotta learn from YouTube videos and, and you learn from your own mistakes, from your own trades. All right, so with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Jits.